Join us on our 10-day Alaskan adventure where we rented a car and drove from Seward, Alaska, north to Fairbanks. The top three things we think you need to check out in Seward is doing a Kenai Fjords boat tour, checking out the park, an exit glacier hike, and lastly, seeing the Alaska Sea Life Center. All right, so we are in Seward, Alaska, and we have made it down to the coast here. It's, uh, I think we're awfully in a cloud. Nice. It is awfully nice, mm -hmm. yeah. Now we are going on a seven and a half hour uh, cruise out in the Kenai Peninsula with marine tours. one of the urchin things. Can you touch those? Yep, they don't feel like much. Really? I mean, they are. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's kind of sticky. Really? Well, yeah. There's a starfish there, too. They use the sticky bit to grab them. Can I touch it? Yeah. Only two fingers, they don't like it. Do a Gretchen. Oh, my God. It's a yeah, you can touch them. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you should touch them? Yeah. You can, yeah. Just one or two finger touches and don't pick them up. My hand's so cold. The baby ones are not as soft. It's so soft. It's kind of super cold that you can't really feel them. Yeah.
So right now we walk down to the outwash plain of the Exit Glacier and the kids are exploring. Because well, we are leaving Seward after three nights here at the Tides Inn and it's a little clear today. We've had a great trip. We saw puffins, sea lions, humpback whales, seals. So after spending three days in Seward, we are now headed on a six hour road trip north. We're gonna stop in Talkeetna and then go to Denali and stay right outside the national park. here. We just stopped into Talkeetna after a five-hour drive from Seward and it was a pretty good trip. We had a little bit of construction but we are here checking out uh, the downtown area. It's an old mining town and there's an awful lot of tourists. We saw a lot of coach buses um, but right now we are looking for Kevin. Uh, we're gonna grab a bite to eat and then we still have another two-hour drive to our cabin um, outside of Denali State Park. So see you later. Well, I think we found our favorite spot in Talkeetna. There is a woman who has five week old bunnies and we get to snuggle these cute little guys uh, for free. So we gave a cash donation, but it's called Bunny Therapy, Free Bunny Therapy. If you need to hold one. All right, we stopped for lunch at Mountain High Pizza Pie. And we got reindeer game pizza and chicken bacon ranch pizza. Denali, we stayed at the McKinley Creekside Cabins. Our perfect three-day itinerary included hiking in the state park for great views of Mount Denali, hiking in the national park, and going on a zipline tour. All right, today we are starting at Ermine Hill Trailhead. Well, the trail reviews said that the trail was overgrown, and they certainly is. Well, we are still on our switchbacks. We are at 1.75 miles, and things are starting to open up to see Denali behind the clouds, but we gotta keep going. Well, we decided to stop right here on the west side of the ridge, at least headed up to the ridge. Uh, for lunch, it's nice and breezy. There's not a lot of bugs. We're sweaty. Our sweat dried. Now we're all a little cool, but we've got beautiful views. And then we're going to start hiking down. We've hit just over four miles. back so we hiked for three and a half hours and went 6.9 miles and climbed about 1500 feet in elevation um, the trail was good it was overgrown but it was still easy to use 
It's not quite what we thought it was gonna be. We did not go all the way to Kasugi Ridge Trail, um, but we did get to a point high enough to see Denali. So that was the goal. And now we're tired, hot, and we're ready to go back. But I do hope you have a chance to explore Denali State Park because it's beautiful and it really gives you great views of Denali National Park. So until next time. We just got done hiking the Horseshoe Lake Trail in Denali National Park. Uh, we found a real small parking spot. It's 1030 in the morning. Uh, you can see behind me a bus just dropped off a bunch of people and I suspect it's going to start getting a lot busier so I'm glad we came when we did. Um, it was real quiet. It was two miles. We hiked for an hour and we saw a mama moose and two baby moose in the lake so that really made this whole hike worth it. Oh. So if you have um, an hour to spare and don't want to go too deep into the National Park or take one of the bus tours, uh, there's a bunch of small hikes and that's what we did and it was worth it.
are all the places we visited in Fairbanks. The canoe is the Tanana River. Our Airbnb was just north of town, north of the college. And then we went all the way out to North Pole, Alaska to visit the Christmas house. All right, we just walked into our Airbnb and uh, it's really lovely so far. This is an old gym floor, which is totally cool. There's a loft area. There's a bed down here. Yep. I would sleep there, I would sleep. But well, we're gonna have to look around. One of the first things we did in Fairbanks was tour Lars, the large animal research station which is used to support research, education, and outreach on Alaskan animals. We spent two different days exploring the Tanana Lakes Recreation Area. One day we stopped out with the girls and rented a paddle boat and a paddle board and swam around in the lake having lunch and a picnic, playing games with our friends. And the second day we decided to do a float trip with two canoes and a raft down the river. Uh, we put in at the Tanana Lakes Recreation Area and took out in the city of China. want to feel like a tourist you can stop at North Pole Alaska here is the Christmas shop well we are done with our 10-day road trip adventure through Alaska we flew into Anchorage, drove down to Seward, then drove up to Denali, drove to Fairbanks, and now we are flying home out of Fairbanks. We, saw we really had a great time hiking and exploring this beautiful state. And if you ever have a chance to come up here, it's usually a shorter flight than most people think. It's only five and a half hours from here to Minneapolis, and then a short one hour flight from here, uh, Minneapolis to Milwaukee for us. And 
it was well worth it. We had a great time. We got to live like locals here in Fairbanks with our friends and we are super grateful. And Kevin is already looking forward to coming back next year to visit him and enjoy his time. So signing out on another trip for Party of Five Adventures. See you next time. Bye.